Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyOT's video where we take a look at the HP ProBook 455 G6. The HP ProBook 455 is a 15 inch laptop with ultra slim chassis and crisp clean edges. The ProBook stands 0.75 inches high and has a refined natural silver finish. The big difference between this ProBook and other models featured on 123 MyOT is what's inside the laptop. This ProBook comes with AMD Radon GPUs and AMD Risen CPUs. Prices for the HP 445G6 start at $727. However, if you intend on doing some gaming, I suggest the $302 upgrade, which gets you the AMD Risen 7 CPU and the AMD RX Vega 10 graphics card. In our model we've got the Vega 8 graphics card and our benchmark will show it's a little underwhelming for gaming. On the right we have a power port, USB-C port, RJ45 and a HDMI port and two USB ports and our headphone jack. On the left we've got our Kensington lock, USB 3.1 heat grill, SD card reader and hard disk indicator light. The near borderless display is designed to open at 180 degrees. This makes it much easier to share content. The extra wide click pad comes with multi-touch gesture support. However, sometimes left click is hard to find. The ProBook comes with HP's premium spill resistant keyboard. It's a full size keyboard which includes the number keys. It's easily the best keyboard I've tested on the ProBook so far. Across the top of the keyboard we've got our display brightness up and down buttons. The nice feature about this is you don't need to hold down the function key for it to work. Then next up we have our audio up and down buttons. As well as on the end we have our wireless off and on key. The keyboard also has a backlit button and the settings are on, off and brighter. Across the top of the keyboard we've got our stereo speakers. They're pretty good and we'll test the quality a little bit later in the video. Between the laptop and the hinge there is a heat grill. Fans will push the heat out from the GPU and CPU of the laptop. The display is a 15.6 inch LED ultra wide full HD which is good for 1920 by 1080 resolution. However it is not a gaming display and will only refresh at 60 Hz. As always across the top of the display we have an integrated HD 720p webcam with dual microphone array. As mentioned earlier, this is the stock model which has the AMD Vega 8 graphics card as well as the AMD Risen 5 CPU. Let's go ahead and run the 3D Mark Night Raid benchmark software. While this is running, I will also test out the speakers. I'll turn the volume up and down just to give you an idea of how good the speakers are. I will also go ahead and tilt the screen that way you can get a good indication of the viewing angle of the display. Okay, so the Night Raid benchmark is finished now and it had an overall score of 6,477. When the laptop heats up, you will have a little bit of fan noise, so hopefully you'll be able to hear it now. Okay, as promised, we'll go ahead and test how many frames we get with the Vega 8 chipset. 
in Fortnite. All right, if you have a look in the top right hand corner of the screen there, you'll see the frames per second. And in the action, it's around about 29 to 30 frames on average. It does spike up and it does go a little bit lower. It's a little bit underwhelming. I would have liked to see the frames maybe sit at a bit higher, around about 60, which is why I recommend actually doing the CPU and GPU upgrade uh, before you purchase the laptop. Let's go ahead and test the viewing angles one more time real quick. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.